Just come to kneel on your mat in a tall kneeling position. And then just take a nice big inhale. Feel your ribs expand wide to the side. And then exhale, let your abdominals relax, but feel your ribs gently slide towards one another. And then another inhale and exhale. This time on your inhale, feel your, or exhale rather, feel your ribs draw gently towards your hips. You want your hips lifting up to give you that length through your low back. And then reach your arms straight out in front of you. And then from here, you're just gonna hinge back as though you're all one piece stuck between two panes of glass, not going back very far, keeping those ribs and hips connected. And then coming up tall, and then bringing your hands down towards the floor. Find a little arch through your back, a little lengthen your chest. Press up through your hands. Press your feet into the floor, shins into the floor. And then from here, send your weight back towards your heels. Find a little bit of a child's pose and then round yourself back up and come into that tall kneeling again. Let your hands come out as you hinge back, staying between two planes of glass. And then coming forward, hinge at your hips, let your hands come underneath your shoulders. Find that arch through the back. Widen the sitting bones. Narrow the sitting bones as you press up towards the ceiling. Push yourself back. Find a little child's pose here. Stretch through the low back. And then peel yourself all the way back up. Find your tall kneeling position. We're going to do that three more times. Find that nice hinge. Crown of the head all the way to your knees. Hinge at the hips. As you send your hands down, find that arched position. Spreading through the collarbone, round your spine up towards the ceiling. Find that child's pose. <clears throat> and then lift all the way up. Hinging back. And press up. Hinge at the hips, widen the sitting bones. Keep widening them as you find that length through the front of your body. Press up, round through the upper, middle, and lower back. Keep rounding as you sit your heels back or butt back towards your heels and then come all the way back up. Last time, hinge back and come forward. Widen your sitting bones. Find yourself in a tabletop. Find that width across the front of your chest, spreading from the hip bones and then press up around the hip or narrow the hip bones around the spine, ribs towards your hips. Sit back. And then from here, peel yourself all the way up, staying in a low kneeling position. And then just walk your fingertips out towards the left as you side bend up and over towards the right. Keep that right hip nice and heavy. And then come all the way up. Walk your fingers over to the right and side bend to the right. Left hip stays heavy. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. And then one more time to each side, over to the left. And over to the right. And then go ahead and grab your weights and we're gonna come to stand. So from here, stand towards, or stand, sorry, right in the middle of your mat having your uh, body facing the long way so you can reach your foot. We're gonna step out to the side eventually. So from here, you're just gonna bring your arms bent to a nice 90 degree angle. And again, feel that tuck of the tailbone, the hips gently sliding up towards the ribs. And then you're gonna find a little squat here where you're nice and supported. Your legs are really working for you. And you're just gonna reach your right leg out to the side and you're just gonna drag it back in underneath you. Keeping your arms nice and still to start and reach your right leg out, tap your toe, and then bring it right back underneath you. And then reach it out to the side and drag it back in. Four more. Three. Two, making sure your weight is evenly distributed through that left foot. 
Good, now switch. Standing on that right foot, lift the left leg, reach it out to the side, and then bring it back. Reach it out to the side, and then bring it back. For six. Five. Making sure your knee is going right over your toes. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And then bring your leg in. Stand evenly on both legs. They can be hip distance or a tiny bit wider, your choice. And from here, you're just gonna reach your arms straight back behind you as though they're so long that you're just gonna like pop off and fly away. And then bend at the elbow. And then press your arms straight back out and bend back in. Palms are facing in towards one another as you bend and straighten. And if you don't have weights, you're just doing the same thing anyway. Four more. Think about drawing your shoulder blades gently in towards one another. Three. Two, gaze is straight ahead. Last one, pause with the arms long and then lower the arms and then bring them back into that bent position, but instead of your palms up, palms are facing each other. You're gonna extend your arms back behind you as you send your right leg out to the side and then bend your arms in. Extend the arms, extend the leg. So giving you a little bit of balance as your arms go back behind you. Gaze is straight ahead. Almost think like you're looking gently down your nose for five, four, three, two, and last one. And then bring it in. Extending your left leg out to the side and bend it in and extend. Again, keeping that weight even through that left foot. Extending your arms all the way back, finding that lift through the pinky and that gentle draw in of the shoulder blades. Four more. Breathing as you go. Three. Hips are square. Two. And last one. Bring your arms in. And from here, you're going to extend your right arm and your left in opposition and then bend in. So your right arm is gonna lift straight up on a diagonal, well, I guess not straight up, in front of you on a diagonal, left arm back into that tricep press. <clears throat> and back together. And up. And back together. Four more. <clears throat> your torso's tipped a little forward, so your arm is just sort of following that general line of that diagonal as you reach up to where the wall and the ceiling meet. One more time to each side, right arm extends, left arm overhead, and back to the center. Keeping your arms where they are, or you can drop them down by your side, your choice. You're gonna to turn to face the short side of your mat, and you're going to step back into a nice lunge here. Left or back leg is straight, which will be your right leg. You're gently tucked under here, and you're just gonna think about bending that leg and going straight down, and then lift back up until that left leg is more or less, or right leg rather, more or less straight. Bend both legs, go straight down, and lift up. You have a slight pitch forward of your torso, and again, arms are bent or along by your side. For four. Three. Two. Last one, stay at the top, tuck your tailbone under, left leg is also straight here. You're just gonna lift your right arm out to the side and then resist it back down. Keeping that hand in your periphery, slightly in front of your shoulder as you lift up and down. Four more. Three. And last one. And then from here, you're gonna find that little split squat. And then as you lift up, your arm's gonna lift. And then as you lower, your arm's gonna lower. And then lift through the legs. Keep thinking that hip draws up towards your ribs. 
Hips are nice and square, facing the front. And up. And down. For four. Three. Two. Last one. And then come all the way up. Bring your right leg next to your left. <coughs> bring your hands, palms facing one another, back to that 90 degree angle. And you're gonna extend your right arm overhead as you step back with your left leg and then bring it back in. Sorry, right leg. Right arm overhead, left leg back and back in. And extend both arms as you step back and in. And step back and in. Four more. You can add that little extra bend of the left leg as you step back, or you can stay in more of a stable position here, your choice. For three, two, last one. Come all the way in and stand all the way up. Shake your arms out. We're gonna switch to the other side here. So, right leg forward, left leg comes back. Bend that right leg, gently tuck that tailbone under, and then find yourself in this nice split squat. Again, arms can be by your side. Your knee is right underneath your hip. And then you're just going straight up and down. Don't worry about having your arm or your legs rather too close together. This way you're not toppling over here. And then going straight down and straight up for six. Five, four, three, two. Last one, pause at the top, both legs are straight. Pause here as you catch your balance, and then lift that left arm straight out, soft bend in the elbow. Trying not to topple over here. Gentle tuck under of the hip. Getting a nice stretch through the left hip flexor and quad. And lift that arm for six. If you feel tension through the back of your right knee or anywhere in your right knee, you're just gonna gently soften that knee. You can even come down into like more of a full lunge here if that's more comfortable. You wanna make sure that leg is not locked out. Three more. Two. And last one, lower that arm down. Find your nice 90-90 bend here. Lift that arm as you come up. Lower as you lower the legs. For eight. Seven. Six, right arm is just nice and rested by your side. Five. Four. Two. And last one. And then come all the way up. Place both legs next to each other. Bring your arms back to that 90 degree bend, palms facing in. You are going to extend your left leg and left arm as you reach back through that right arm in that tricep press. And then come back, stay nice and low in this half squat. And then come back in. And again, you can add a little bit more lower and lift but you're still staying nice and low as you extend the left leg behind you, left leg overhead, right arm into that tricep press for six. Four more. Three. Gentle slide in of the shoulder blade on that right side. Two. And last one. Good, come all the way in, stand all the way up, and you can place your weights all the way off to the side. You do not need them for a while. And then come to sit on your butt, have your legs bent out in front of you, and then lift your arms straight out, parallel to the floor, palms facing down. If you can sit nice and tall with your legs straight, go for it. If you can't, bend your knees. From here, Think as though you're sitting up against a wall and you're going to nod your chin and you're going to peel yourself up and over an imaginary ball, getting a nice stretch to the back 
biceps frame your ears and then slowly stack your spine back up attaching it back to the wall and then again nod your chin peel off that wall arms stay parallel to the floor and then inhale as you stack your spine back up and again round forward think like you're rounding up and over an imaginary beach ball and then stack your spine back up two more and up last one and then stack yourself all the way back up bring your hands back behind you you can turn your palms to face or fingers to face away and you're going to plant your right foot and then your left foot from here think about tucking that tailbone under like you're going to place your sacrum on the floor feel your sit bones like reach down the backs of your thighs to your knees Keep curling, 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 curling until you find yourself in a nice reverse tabletop here and then peel yourself all the way back down, trying to put your hips a little closer towards your hands. Find that external rotation of the upper arm, gentle squeeze in of the tailbone, or tailbone, the shoulder blades towards the spine. Tuck that tailbone under, lift, 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 press through your feet, find that little drag back like we normally do in our heels towards our shoulders and then again lower all the way down place your hips back by your hands sitting up nice and tall one more time tuck that tailbone under around your sitting bones towards your heels backs of your knees soften through the elbows and lower all the way back down and then from here bring your arms straight out in front of you Give yourself room to lay back and then curl the tailbone under one vertebrae at a time. Find that opening through the front of your hips as you peel down, 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 down to the floor. Bring your arms by your sides, but flip your palms up. And then with this upper arm nice and open, just feel how your shoulder is laying on the floor. You're gonna think nothing changes in your upper arm. You're literally just spinning through the lower arm to place your hand on the floor. And you may find that that's a little tricky. You can't plant your hand all the way. You can make your uh, hands a little farther from your body. That also works. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring your feet in and then bring your right leg up to tabletop. Bring your left leg up to meet it. And we're gonna leave our heads on the ground. And then from here, you're gonna glue your heels together. And you're just going to think about externally rotating through the legs and then resist to bring it back in as though you're squeezing an imaginary ball here and then open out to the side and then resist to squeeze back in almost like the thigh master in the sky and back in four more just like this three Last one, pause with this external rotation here and then take a nice big inhale and then start to lower your legs away just a few inches and then exhale, bring them back in. Inhale as you lower, exhale and lift. You can always bring a hand to your abdominals. You wanna make sure that as you're lowering and then again as you lift, at some point you're finding that nice engagement where your abs stop pressing up towards the ceiling and instead they sort of soften and descend using your breath and limiting your range of motion to do so. I find also if I squeeze my heels together, that limits the puff up as well. Two more. Last one. And then draw your knees together. Open them, lower the legs. And up. And in. And externally rotate and lower and lift three more two and last one and then pause with your legs here bring them in and give them a nice hug gently rock back and forth from one side to the other and then when you're ready bring your legs back to tabletop you have two choices 
can either leave your legs at hip distance or you can glue them together like you only have one leg. From here, your choice. You're gonna lower your thighs away from you just like we did a moment ago and then drag them back in. And then lower down, exhale lift. You almost think that as you lower, or rather as you raise your legs back up, you're reaching your sitting bones away from you. It's like your knees and sitting bones move in opposition. So you get a little widening of your sitting bones as you lift them back up. Two more. Check in with your shoulders. Make sure they haven't started to creep in round forward. Last one. Good, from here, drop your legs over towards the right, both shoulders stay on the floor, and then back to the center. Over to the left, and then resist back to the center. Really feel your uh, hips peel off the floor, and then peel back on as they come back to the center, and then over to the left. Trying to focus on that peel, and relying on your breath will also help you rely a little less on the momentum that comes with putting your legs, which are, you know, objectively heavy as a lever like this, out to the side. One more to the right. And last one to the left. And then center. From here, you're gonna lower your legs in that toe tap, and then over to the right. And center, toe tap. And when I say toe tap, who cares if you touch your toes? and left, and lower, and right. Going as slow and controlled here as feels good. Your head is pressing into the floor. So are your shoulders, they're nice and heavy. We're gonna do this one more time to the right. Center. Last time to the left and last time to the center. And then bring the legs all the way in, give them a little hug, give yourself a little hug. You can rock back and forth from one side to the other if that feels good. And then when you're ready, you're gonna drop your feet down about as wide as your mat, and then windshield wiper your legs over towards the right, and then come into goal post arms, where your arms are bent at 90 degrees, up by your head. And then hook your right foot on top of your left thigh, if that feels comfortable. And just breathe here for a few seconds. If that's too much in your low back, just unclip your feet. Unclasp, not unclip. Clip. And then lift them up and over to the left. And then here, same thing. If you want to lift that right, or left foot rather, on top of your right thigh, think about reaching long out of that knee. Maybe you get that stretch up through your hip as well. And then bring your legs back to the center. And then from here, you're still gonna keep your head down. We're not gonna bother lifting it today. You are going to bring your right leg into tabletop. Stack your hands one on top of the other and take a big inhale. And then exhale, press your right leg into your hands and your hands into your right leg and feel your abs engage and then release. And then on your exhale, press for the duration of your exhale, and then release. And exhale, press. And release. From here, inhale. Exhale, press as you bring your left leg into tabletop. And then from here, you're just gonna keep gentle pressure on that right leg, and you're gonna extend your left leg long, and then resist to bring it back in. You can focus more on the press, on that exhale, but either way you want to be like actively pressing in on that exhale to that right leg. You shouldn't have your leg be able to come in accidentally. You can always bring one hand to your abdominal, one hand to your thigh. Last one. This time, extend that left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale as it lowers. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
only going to your comfortable range of motion. Two more, lower down. Length out of that hip and back up. Same thing, keep reaching that tailbone, or rather sitting bone nice and long. One more. Pause the top. Grab your right leg, bring it all the way in towards your chest and then slightly towards your right armpit and then lengthen, 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 lengthen as you lower that left leg all the way down towards the floor. And then either reach out of the heel or the toe, whichever feels better. Getting a nice stretch through the front of your left hip. And then pull your right leg across. Come into goalpost arm with your right hand. Look to the right as that left leg twists across your body. A nice stretch here in the glute. And then come back center. Plant your right foot. Left leg comes into tabletop. Four breaths just to get started. Find that activation on the left side. Inhale here. Exhale, press. And again, inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale, press. Make sure that the press isn't coming from tucking the tailbone under. And then float that right leg up into tabletop. Inhale here. Exhale. Then on your inhale, extend. Exhale, bend it back in. Again, you can add that extra pressure. Your exhale. Pressing into that left foot as you move. If you'd like, lift your head up for a moment here. Ribs towards your hips just to see what's happening. Play with extending the right leg with no pressure on that leg. And then add the pressure and see what happens. And then you can lower your head back down when you're ready. Noticing how that engagement changes through the abs. Last one. Leave it long here. Lower down. Exhale to lift. And again, if you'd like to lift your head and check out what this looks like here. If you're shaking, that's fine. Just make sure you are breathing. Four more. Last one. And then leave that leg long, bring that left leg up and in, and then reach long through that right leg as you bring it all the way to the floor. Pulling your left leg up and in towards that chest slash armpit, wherever you get a nice, comfortable uh, stretch here. And then you're gonna pull your right, or left leg rather, across with that right hand. Left arm is going to come into that gold post position. Gaze is over to the left. Enjoy a nice stretch here through the glutes. Inhale and exhale. One more breath in and exhale. Good. Lengthen your legs all the way long. And then find yourself in a gold post arm and then bend your legs back in. From here, tuck the tailbone under and then find yourself lifting up, peeling your spine off into a nice bridge, keeping these goalpost arms, heels dragged back towards your shoulders and then slowly soften through the chest as you lower yourself all the way back down. And then again, curl that tailbone under, lift, lengthen through the fronts of your thighs, tuck that tailbone under to find length through the front of your hips and then peel yourself all the way back down and release one more time and lift and then peel yourself all the way back down and then from here extend your legs long reach your arms up behind you when they start to come into your peripheral vision, take a big inhale, feel your ribs drop as you curl your head, neck and shoulders, press your hands down, shoulder blades are off the mat, take a nice big inhale here. On your exhale, feel your ribs draw towards your hips 
and peel yourself up and over your legs and then stack your spine up nice and tall and then from here you are going to be cross-legged if you don't have a lot of flexibility like me or you're going to extend your legs long wider than your shoulders and then from here you're going to bring your hands back behind your head Feel like you're lifting up from the back of your skull to pull yourself up nice and tall. Twist up and over towards the right. And then you're going to side bend like you're reaching your left elbow towards your right knee. And then stack your spine all the way back up and come to the center. And over to the left. And then side bend down. Reach that left elbow towards your left leg. Lift and twist. So this is just a modification of saw and side, or not side, but reach and lift and center. Think about opening through that chest and staying open even as you lower and round down towards the side and center. And one more time to each side. Reach that right elbow towards the ceiling and center, last one. and back up and center great from here come on to all fours hands right underneath your shoulders tuck your toes under take a nice big inhale here exhale float those legs off the floor knees rather and then from here take a big inhale and then exhale lower inhale lift exhale lift inhale exhale lower Inhale to prepare and then exhale, lift. And then you're gonna extend your legs back and find yourself in a plank. If this is too much, you can always drop down onto one knee on the floor. But in your plank here, or with that left knee on the floor, you're gonna float your right leg up. You're gonna draw it in towards your chest and extend it straight back behind you. Keeping that foot flex, bend your knee in and reach it long. Making sure your upper back is not rounded. You're drawing the heels of your hands towards your feet. Like you're looking over the precipice of a cliff. Precipice, I think that's the right word. Two more. Last one. Extend that leg long. Walk your legs in. Find that bear plank. Lower down. Sit back around your spine. Drop your butt towards your heels. And then you're going to find yourself in all fours one more time. Yet again, I should say. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower. Two more, and then we're going to say inhale. Exhale, lift. Feel the external rotation of the upper arms. Lower down. Exhale, find the external rotation, the engagement across the shoulders. This time, come up and pause. Extend your legs long, find that plank. Take that round out of your upper back, lengthen through the chest, lift the left leg, bring it in, and out, and in, and out. Four more. Butt is not drooping. Three, pressing the floor away, two. Last one. Bend that knee in, plant the toes. Right leg in, drop down. And then uncurl your toes and round back onto your heels. And then from here, come up into your tall kneeling position. We're gonna end similar to how we started. From here, find that rib to hip connection. Lengthen the arms as you hinge back and then press through the arms as you come up nice and tall. And again, hinge back and then press back through the arms as you come forward and hinge. Nothing very big. Just a nice stretch through the front of the legs, engagement through the abdominals, the whole core, your back is working plenty. And a little tricep as you press back. Two. And last one. All right, so now we're gonna combine a couple of things and you have options you can modify. So I'll do the first one as the full version, the second as the modification, and we're gonna do 
six to eight. So go ahead and hinge back, come forward, hinge at the hips, drop your hands towards the floor, tuck the tailbone under, lift. Extend your right leg, extend your left leg, and find yourself in a nice push up. And then bring that right leg in, left leg in, drop, and then come back up. You can leave your toes curled under if you'd like. Hinge back. If that doesn't feel comfortable, just untuck them. Hinge at the hips, wide through the sitting bones, find yourself here, lift the knees, extend the left leg, the right leg, and then you're gonna drop to your knees and just do a push up here on your knees. If you wanna add the bare plank back in, you're gonna find that full plank, walk it back in, drop the knees and lift. And if you don't want to, you're just gonna come from that kneeling plank, bring your knees into tabletop, and then lengthen yourself back up. Curl those toes under, find your bare plank, right leg back, left leg, find your push up, and then bring the legs in, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, come all the way back up. Hinge back, press up, hands down, tuck the toes under, one leg back, then the other, dropping down to that full push up, press the whole floor away, bring the legs in, pause in your bear plank, lower the knees, and then peel yourself back up. Three more, hinge and press and hinge and press up. A bit of a pattern here, lots of hinging, pressing, one leg in, and then the other, hold here, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, peel yourself up. Two. If at any point you get tired, you can take out the full plank, you can drop to your knees, you can take out the bare plank, do what works for you. Last one, hinge back. Lower down, hinge at the hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Walk back after you find that bear plank. Find your push up, press up. And then from here, just lift your hips. Find yourself in a down dog. You can bring your feet nice and wide if that feels good. And then bend your knees, reach your hips back, press through the heels of your hands to get a good stretch. And then find yourself in that plank. Walk your knees in underneath you drop your feet and then untuck your toes bring your hips back towards your heels knees nice and wide and just rest towards the floor take a few breaths here let your heart rate come down if it got a little elevated there but it's cold we need to warm up at least i did and then peel yourself all the way up you can stay on your knees or you can come to sit with your legs in front of you or cross-legged your choice from here press into your thighs regardless of where you are and just nod your chin and then reach your arms in front of you and then peel yourself up nice and tall extend your arms out to the side and then grab your right ear with your left hand gently reach through your right fingers as you drop them down towards the floor Getting a nice stretch. And then tilt your chin down toward your collarbone. And then release your head to come all the way back up tall. Find your arms reaching nice and long. Right hand to the left ear. Then reach through the fingertips as you lower down. And then rotate that chin toward your collarbone. Then bring your arms out wide to the side, side bend up and over towards the left. You can add a little rotation here if that feels nice. And on rotate if you're rotated and then come all the way up, side bend up and over towards the right. Shoulders are relaxed. You don't need to pull them away from your ear, but just take a breath and then relax. And then again, reach through those fingertips and rotate towards the floor if that feels good and then rotate back to the center come all the way up one last time reach your arms up towards the ceiling 
Externally rotate through the arms. As you feel the arms spin open, drop your shoulders, press down through your hands and feel your head grow a little taller, ribs right over your hips. And as your arms find your side, you are all finished. Thanks.